Namaste. Hi, I hope you're doing well. And I wanted to take a moment to talk about three practices that I have felt have been key in managing mood, emotions, reactions, just being able to find more empowerment um, in my life and the life of many people I've worked with, the lives of many people that I've worked with. Um, this comes from my stay calm method, which is my stay calm method for uh, managing emotions effectively. And this word practice is essential. It's so important. And in yoga, it's called um, abhyasa. And abhyasa means practice. And we cannot have change in our lives and continue to grow, become, um, you know, our best selves, unless we are consciously practicing and have the self-discipline to practice. So these three things are simple. It's just very simple. Stop, breathe, and notice. So again, stop, breathe, and notice. Commit to these three words to your memory and try to practice them every single day. So what does this even look like? All right, let's, let's do an example. So let's say you go downstairs in the morning, get into the kitchen, and the kitchen is a mess. And I don't know about you, but sometimes when that happens, when I have the expectation that I'm going to come down to a clean kitchen and it's not clean, it brings a little like <gasps> in shock to my system. And I can immediately start to feel this like <sighs> anger. So I'm getting ahead of ourselves, of myself. Sorry. So you come down <laughs> in the kitchen and it's a mess. You feel this surge of emotional charge. Stop. So don't do anything else, just stop and then take some breath. So let's practice that. Let's take some deep breaths. We're gonna take it in and out through our nose. So let's inhale, close your eyes if you like, exhale through the nose. Inhale, exhale. You might exhale through the mouth too, just letting go. Starting to slow that breath down. Let's even notice more about that breath. So as you breathe, feeling the breath come in through the nostrils. And as you exhale, feel that breath come out through the nostrils. Maybe even add a little bit of counting. So as you inhale and you're noticing that inhale, inhale for four, and then exhale for four. All right, so continuing to breathe. And as you're breathing, starting to notice. So notice how does the body feel right now? What sensations with seeing this messy kitchen, what sensations do you feel in the body? Notice what emotions might be coming up. And there might be more than one. And they might feel different and that's totally fine. What do you feel right now? With those body sensations, what emotions go with those body sensations? Sorry, yeah, what emotions go with those body sensations? And what are thoughts that are coming up? Are you having, what story is your mind saying right now? And so with this data of what you're noticing in your body, emotions you're feeling, thoughts or stories that are going with this reaction, is this what you want to continue with? Like, is this reaction, is that story going to be something that's helpful and serves you? And if it is, Start thinking, how do you want to address this? Or what do you want to do with this? And if it's not, again, what would you rather be doing? So what 
where are the choices here and what actions might you take? If you have an intention or a sankalpa just in how you're wanting to live your life, like if you're wanting to invite more peace and joy into your life or to trust yourself more um, or to be present, bringing that intention in to help also guide what action you'd like to take. But cool, and let's let that all go. Take another breath. And then slowly opening the eyes. So that's just very briefly a bit what this practice is. It the the stop, breathe, and notice. Once you start to do them more and more, like they will happen almost simultaneously. Um, but I like to break it apart. There's actually three specific parts to this: stop, breathe, and notice. So this is the practice, Abhyasa, that I would encourage you to do throughout this next month um, with a focus on practice. Very different than like telling you to practice um, certain poses, right? That refining the mind is tr what traditional yoga is all about. The more we refine the mind, the more calm and peaceful and present we will be. Okay, wonderful. Namaste and all the best.